Hello, and welcome to another broadcast with Gion. Watching this program, you are going to be inspired, challenged, and enlightened. Now, let me introduce to you our host, Gion. Undoubtedly, one of the most difficult moments that anyone can live is being confronted. Ooh, your supervisor, your supervisor calls you to the office and you go, what did I do? <laughs> one client calls you and says, we need to talk. Oh, your spouse says, tonight we need to talk. <laughs> anyone, confrontation is actually very, very difficult, but uh, it's part of life. You know, it would be ideal that we never had troubles, that uh, our health will be perfect all the time, that we always have money, that everything will go smoothly. Well, that would be ideal, but that is not real. <laughs> part of life is to issues with health, with money, relationships, and situations that... Uh, take us to the point of confrontation. Confrontation, actually, it's necessary sometimes because helps us to reevaluate what's going on, what is what we are doing. My suggestions about confrontation to you are the following. Keep a notebook with you uh, when there is a moment with a confrontation, talks with your supervisor, especially when it's your work or your customers, because that shows a lot of respect, that you care, that you are paying attention, you are taking notes because you want to reflect about whatever you are being confronted with. Also, when it's uh, with your family, you need to consider the necessity of uh, taking notes, you know, because sometimes it's a friend or somebody that is telling you something important and you don't want to forget. You know, in the heat of the moment, you, you can say this and that, and no. You have to learn to take notes, try to process what is happening. That is probably my most important suggestion to you in confrontation meetings, confrontational moments. Take notes, process, study, think before you say anything. Don't retaliate. You are being confronted, especially your supervisor, your customers, anyone that uh, is an authority in your life because of the business or work environment, your contract or whatever. That's not the moment to retaliate. That's the moment to listen. Give your supervisor, your customer, the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you are right, but, but when you start to retaliate and defend yourself immediately, you are not helping. You are just escalating the problem. So take your notes, process, and then in the right moment, once, remember this, you need to be calm. Once you know that what you are about to say is right, then you can start your, your point, your argument. And... Uh, and keep the conversation that way. Confrontational conversations are not really bad, my friend, are good, are necessary in life. Again, to correct the path, to make things right. So don't, uh, don't be scared of uh, confrontational conversations. They are necessary. You know what is interesting? Maturity will show you that uh, actually confrontational or tough conversations are going to show how wise you are becoming, that you can keep your calm even when the conversation is uh, talking about certain topics that makes you feel uncomfortable. But it's true. The more mature you become, calmer you will be, easier will be for you to have conversations that are confrontational. Because not just 
not always you will be the one being confronted. Sometimes you are the one who needs to confront somebody else. But when your experience, with your experience and your ability to keep calm and keep discussing things, you know what? It's going to be awesome. But I will tell you something that actually helps tremendously to get along with people and will help you to not have constant confrontational conversations is when you, especially in your workplace, you keep the conversations fluid, flowing. Keep your conversations flowing. You are talking about the topic, keep on going, keep on going, be flexible and add humor. You have no idea how much you can enjoy your days. When you keep your conversations flowing, you adjust, you are flexible, and you add humor to your conversations. You know, being productive, being efficient, is not necessarily the opposite of having a good time and enjoying what you are doing. And humor helps, relaxes you. Consider all these factors, my friend. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. by Giancarlo Vitutoro. I know you have suffered, but what if you would have never met your mom because she died giving birth to you? That's the beginning of Simon's story. Then Simon's father died when he was only 15 years old. He was sent to a foster home where he was bullied, humiliated, and there was no one to protect him. But Simon decided to find a way to get his revenge by studying and becoming good at sports. He won a scholarship, and soon he started his own business, Simon Yardwork. Mean people were envious of his success, but one day, Simon met and fell in love with Jackie. They were happy, until the FBI arrested Simon due to clues that incriminated him with several murdered people. Will Simon end up in prison? Don't miss the outcome of this story, The Best Revenge the musical that will inspire everyone to pay good for evil. Go to mygiancarlo.com to purchase The Best Revenge on audio and video. Hey, 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 hey. That's all, that's all, that's all, folks. <laughs> Time to go home. <laughs> Ciao.